Welcome back to Dream Nuggets. Today I want to talk about the setting of a dream. There are so many details in a dream. There are activities that are happening, people that are involved, there are different climates, there's different time of day. Sometimes the scenes shift geographically. There may be different colors, animals, countries. The dream can start out somewhere in the countryside and then all of a sudden you're in the city. Don't let this confuse you, don't let this bog you down. There are some details that are just meant to be the setting of the dream in the same way that there are details in a movie or a novel that are just meant to set the backdrop for the main characters to perform and to tell their story it's the same thing with dreams there are some things that are just meant to be in the backdrop that are just meant to set the scene so that you will remember what happened these things help to connect the dots but allow the spirit to lead you to pinpoint and to focus on what matters, what the Lord is actually trying to say instead of, oh my gosh, there are all of these things happening in the dream, like what do I need to pay attention to? Usually the things that jump out at you initially, those are the things to focus on. That is where the meat of the matter is. Those are the dots and the other details are just the things that connect them. Let's look at one of the dreams from the Bible as an example from Genesis 41 where Pharaoh got these dreams. I'm just going to read verses one to four. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh had a dream. He was standing by the Nile when out of the river there came up seven cows, sleek and fat, and they grazed among the reeds. After them, seven other cows, ugly and gaunt, came up out of the Nile and stood beside those on the river bank. And the cows that were ugly and gaunt ate up the seven sleek fat cows. Then Pharaoh woke up and he had another dream after this about the grains. But let's just look at this first dream in the first four verses of Genesis 41. There are some things that are just details to set the scene. So when Joseph was interpreting it led by God, he only focused on certain details. So the setting, for example, in this dream would be, okay, these cows are grazing by the Nile. But Josie didn't get caught up in, oh, they were grazing by the reeds, so the reeds is significant, and that has some symbolism that I need to look into. No, he maintained his focus as the spirit was leading him to the correct interpretation of the dream and realized that the cows grazing by the reeds, that's just a setting to help to connect the dots. It's just a backdrop of which this dream is settled into. The cows also came up out of the Nile. So does this mean that I need to go down to the river Nile and pour in libations and do all kinds of sacrifices and burn incense and whatever. No, Joseph kept his focus as the spirit was leading him to focus on the major elements of the dream which God was using to communicate that hey there's a famine that is coming up on the land. And this is supported by verse 16 of the same chapter where Joseph is saying I cannot do this on my own. God is the one who's going to give the interpretation. So as you're receiving dreams, visions, anything that requires interpretation, don't get bogged down by the enormity or the amount of the details and thinking that you have to track down every little thing and assess every different symbol. Allow the spirit to guide you. The spirit knows the interpretation of the dream. God was one who gave you the dream and he will lead you into the interpretation of it to focus on what needs to be focused on and to just recognize that the rest of the things are the settings of the dream. Be encouraged. See you next time.